now with the ban of refugees and honestly it's it's not just that it's really all immigrants for 90 days it affects green card holders as well so pretty much anyone entering the country from those seven countries uh sudan somalia yemen iraq iran libya and the last one i'm sorry i just can't remember but anyways <laughs> moving on from that there is there's this Oscar nominated Iranian director who will not be able to enter the US to go to the Oscars nomination. So, uh, the NY Daily News site says there's an Academy win- Award winner nominated for his second Oscar may be barred from the ceremony thanks to President Trump's latest executive order, not true, blocking millions of people from Muslim countries from entering the US. Uh, under the order, Iranian filmmaker Asghar Farhadi, whose drama The Salesman is nominated for Best Foreign Language Film, could be denied entry to the U.S., which put a 90-day ban on travelers with passports from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. I forgot Yemen. Uh, they say the 89th Academy Awards will be held in Los Angeles on February 26th, well within the three-month ban period. Farhadi has not commented on the executive order, said if he plans to attend, despite it. The Tribeca Film Festival condemned Farhadi's possible blockage Saturday morning. Okay, so it's more for thought, but just the re- like the, the reasoning for this fucking ban is just ridiculous. This executive order, it's just giving the ISIL movement and the groups more power because if we don't let the refugees in who are actually legitimate refugees looking for looking for sanctuary who are ready to get integrated who are ready to be safe we need safety we need a place to live and prosper those people are going to be leaning towards joining them because in syria the government's bombing the shit out of everyone and i'm not saying that the rebels are good i don't like the rebels but the point here is is that there are there's a civilian population that is that is specifically in need of help and it's just this idea that we should just ban everyone from coming in is stupid especially for me because obviously well not obviously but my parents and grandparents were refugees from afghanistan so it's just america there's a reason why america is actually great and it is that There are lots of cultures around, and there have been a lot of personal accounts from different people who are advocating against this ban, who are talking about anecdotes, you know, about, like, people coming here from persecution or being made fun of or just danger and looking for refuge. And that's why America is great. That is why America is great. Not because it should be some inbred white Christian society. That's not what it is. It, America should be and is great because everyone can come here with the supposed equal opportunity. And that is what that is what makes America unique to everyone else. And if you take that away, America is going to go straight down the shithole like every other country would. Because without immigration, without immigration, industry does not thrive. It doesn't happen. So the fact that you blame immigrants for the ones picking up these small, these little jobs and these low quality jobs that other people wouldn't pick up is stupid. But obviously with the whole Muslim ban in those seven countries, which let's keep it real, it's what it is. For 90 days, no one from those countries can come unless they're diplomats for the, U- if they're the UN members or if they're diplomats for the United States.